Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll discuss a change to the old DBMS job scheduler from 19C onward. The DBMS scheduler package was introduced in Oracle 10G as a replacement for the old DBMS job scheduler. The DBMS job package was deprecated in 12.2, but there are a lot of systems still using it. Oracle 19C takes the demise of the DBMS job package a step further. We can see from the output we don't have any jobs for this user. The user jobs view displays no rows, as does the user scheduler jobs view. We create a job using the DBMS job submit procedure, but we're not going to issue a commit statement. We can see the job is listed in the user jobs and user scheduler jobs views. Notice the job name prefix for the DBMS scheduler job that has been generated. So under the hood, the old DBMS job scheduler has been replaced. One of the reasons people still use the DBMS job package is it allows us to create jobs that are part of a bigger transaction. If a failure causes an exception, all the current work along with the jobs defined as part of it can be rolled back. The DBMS scheduler package doesn't allow this as all actions are committed. Remember when we created the previous job we didn't issue a commit? We issue a rollback and the job definition is gone. So even though the DBMS scheduler package is being used under the hood, the DBMS job implementation remains transactional. We create a new job, but this time include a commit. We connect to a privileged user. The scheduler dollar DBMS job map table provides the mapping between the old DBMS job and the DBMS scheduler job. Some things to remember. Unlike previous versions, the create job privilege is necessary to create jobs using the DBMS job package. During database upgrades to 19C, DBMS job definitions are converted to DBMS scheduler jobs. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.